Are you at risk of cervical cancer? Cervical cancer and its risk factors? The following factors may raise a person's risk of developing cervical cancer. Human papilloma virus HPV, infection, the most important risk factor for cervical cancer is infection with HPV. HPV is common. Most people become infected with HPV when they become sexually active, and most people clear the virus without problems. Most frequently associated with cervical cancer are HPV-16 and HPV-18 strains. Two, immune system deficiency. People with lowered immune systems have a higher risk of developing cervical cancer. A lowered immune system can be caused by immune suppression from corticosteroid medications, organ transplantation, treatments for other types of cancer. Or from the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, which is the virus that causes acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. When a person has HIV, their immune system is less able to fight off early cancer. Three, herpes virus infection, women who have genital herpes, have a higher risk of developing cervical cancer. Four, smoking, women who smoke are about twice as likely to develop cervical cancer, as women who do not smoke. Age, people younger than 20 years old, rarely develop cervical cancer. The risk goes up between the late teens and mid-thirties. Women past this age group remain at risk and need to have regular cervical cancer screenings, which include a pap test and or an HPV test. Six, socioeconomic factors. Cervical cancer is more common among groups of women who are less likely to have access to screening for cervical cancer. Those populations are more likely to include black women, Hispanic women, American Indian women, and women from low-income households. Seven, oral contraceptives. Some research studies suggest that oral contraceptives, 
which are birth control pills, may be associated with an increased risk of cervical cancer, and may be associated with higher risk sexual behavior. Eight. Exposure to diethyl stilbestrol DES, women whose mothers were given this drug during pregnancy, to prevent miscarriage, have an increased risk of developing, a rare type of cancer of the cervix or vagina. 9-ethylstilbestrol DES, was given for this purpose from about 1940 to 1970. Women exposed to diethylstilbestrol DES, should have an annual pelvic examination that includes a cervical pap test, as well as a four-quadrant pap test, in which samples of cells are taken from, all sides of the vagina to check for abnormal cells. Cervical cancer is preventable. Cervical cancer is detectable before it becomes cancer if woman with above high risk factor should go for screening regularly according to appropriate protocol. In next video I will explain, how does cervical cancer screen and how to prevent, development of cervical cancer. Thanks for your kind watching. Please like share and subscribe my channel for next helpful updates, regarding cancer screening, prevention, treatment and its updates.